Hello and welcome gorgeous Leo to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that spirit will like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. Spirit does want to bring through those direct messages. Just take what resonates from the cards and just leave what doesn't resonate. So let's take a look at your first card here. Wild things, you have grown. Your soul is ready for something new. There are wonderful worlds, curious creatures and sacred stories calling you. It is the right time to explore new territory. Okay, so Leo, you have outgrown something. You have grown in your life, in your soul, in your environment. Things are changing because you have grown. And there is something new just around the corner for you, waiting for you. So over the next couple of weeks, I wouldn't be surprised if you started to see some big changes take place in an area of life where you really feel on even if it's not a at the forefront of your mind you really don't you really know deep down that the situation you've outgrown this relationship this job whatever it may be for you and so changes are going to take place in in this area of life for you there are wonderful new experiences that spirit is wanting you to have and it is the right time. So divine timing is probably coming into play. Let's see what this card reveals. Trust. Trust the process of transition and change. Your life is working out to a higher plan that loves you and wants the best for you. There is sunshine ahead. So even if things seem a little bit rocky at the moment, trust God. Trust the universe. I enjoy trusting the universe. That's a beautiful affirmation that you can use. All right, let's take a look at this deck now. Guidance for Leo, please, spirit, angels and guides, bring through a message for Leo, please. Okay, let's take a look. The moon in Aquarius, free spirit. So isn't that beautiful? We have wild things. You've grown beyond your current circumstances. Something new is calling to you and we have the card of free spirit. So it's time to open your arms to new things. Your inner wild child awakens. So there is certainly, there is certainly a new adventure awaiting for you. And that is something to get excited about, Leo. Eclipse in Capricorn, a new direction. So we have this message once again saying that, yes, in fact, a new direction, a new horizon is just ahead for you. Reevaluate success. Now, that's an interesting thing. Perhaps you're having to reevaluate what you what you had as your plan. But you will gain success in a different way if you follow this this feeling to set yourself free. Beautiful, beautiful energies, Leo. Let's see what this deck reveals. Angels and guides, bring through a message for Leo, please. Yes, these two cards here are yours. A year from now, something extremely significant is going to happen. Extremely positive is going to happen a year from now. I'm also being told by spirit that in a year's time for some, things are going to be completely different. So it's going to be a gradual change. But a year from now, you will be in a completely different environment, situation, headspace for the better. So beautiful. In the near future, so not only you have in the distant future, a year from now, we have positive energies and changes taking place, but in the near future, you're going to receive a blessing also. Trust the process of this transition into this newness, however this comes into your life. Beautiful, beautiful energy here, Leo. Guidance for Leo, please. Angels and guides, bring through a message for Leo, please. This one here is yours. 
there may be a marriage, perhaps an actual marriage, uh, but the marriage card symbolizes a commitment, a bond, a contract. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. So you may be about to embark upon a commitment that is going to be emotionally fulfilling for you. And the thorns, weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. So even if you know that you have some thorns ahead, some difficulties, troubles or worries about the future, there is the bright sun rising and you just need to get through this thin layer of thorns, whatever that represents symbolically for you. You will know Spirit is speaking to you with this card. Well, once these thorns are brushed aside, there is a new and positive future that is waiting you. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at this deck now. Guidance for Leo, please. Angels and guides, bring through a message for Leo. This one here. The Ace of Action. This cherub is holding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity, your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action. And if you've been procrastinating, it's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. So have confidence in your abilities. So it is a time of, it's a time of action, not a time of waiting around. You'll feel inspired to do something, to take some kind of action and make sure that you heed that and you take that action because it's going to bring in some beautiful energies. The nine of action. You've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments and hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels in return, Mother Earth, the animals and the environment need your protection. So we have a strong energy here of protection. So with this newness, with this transition from something you've outgrown or you just know in your heart of hearts isn't right for you anymore. And you're opening the door to a new experience. You're protected in this. Beautiful. You have inner strength to draw upon if you need to. You have great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there's no problem you can't solve. The compassion you so freely give to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions. If the right answer to tell someone is no, it's okay to have barriers and boundaries and protect yourself and if you need to say no, if you need to decline an offer, if you need to step away, there is no harm or foul about that. Out with the old and in with the new. So this card sums up the energy of the read, it really does. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life, so that may be the case. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truths. And it's important at, the, at this moment in the week ahead to embrace those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions, or your heart may long to try out new ideas. And the helper of emotion. Romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love. This might be falling in love with... A significant other, of course, romantic love, but it might also represent for you falling in love with something that you're doing, your career, a hobby, an interest. 
There may be a gift coming your way as well. Gifts of flowers, love letters and poems read aloud are all in your future. Marriage proposals. So we did have the marriage card here. So it may be an actual marriage, of course, but it may be, it may represent that commitment. Commitment, a bond, a deal, a contract. Marriage proposals, weddings and past life connections are possible. Someone new who is romantic, dreamy and emotional may enter your life. So someone new may in fact enter your life. It might be romantic partner, but it might be someone else. Significant. This person could be an artist who's an idealist about love. Beautiful energies. Leo, let's take a look at the pendulum. So if you have a question that you would like to ask the pendulum, then you can think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So of course you can check in with your own intuition and see how that resonates for you and the question that you asked about. So we hope Spirit has come through clearly for you and you understand the messages that Spirit wants you to know about at this time. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.